guys, today I'm going to show you how to color correct using the Essence All I Need Concealer Palette. Now, color correcting is um, using basically using opposite colors of concealer or cream product. Basically, they even they do make powders, some powders though, to conceal imperfections like. You would use green to cancel red, yellow to cancel purple, and so on. Right now I'm not wearing any makeup at all, and, and I'm just going to show you how to use this palette. Now they do make plenty of other palettes, um, and this is just a really affordable, good palette that I found at the drugstore. That I think works really, really well. Let's get on with the video. First things first, you just want to prime. I'm using the Nivea Sensitive Post Shaver. I'm just going to be using a pea-sized amount. And I'm just rubbing that in all over my face. Once you can feel your primer starts to get tacky after rubbing it in, you can start with foundation, but I prefer to do it before I put on my foundation. Uh, in this palette, you get a green, a pink, a more tan shade, a paler shade, and a yellow. They do have purples and oranges for other things, but these are, I'd say, the most used colors. Okay, so with this palette, um, if you have dry skin, I don't really recommend using this palette because the creams are on the drier side. Um, but you can, of course, use it if you use a more moisturizing primer. On the back of this palette, it does tell you um, what each color is for but I'm just going to give you show you what I use them for first things first I'm going to start with the pink shade now the pink shade is for more blue on the back of the palette it says it's for brightening tired skin now you could use this to brighten and I would recommend it more for the bluer part of the eye which is right in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right in there Now you don't need very much because obviously as you can see it's quite pigmented. So you just want to take it right up where you have darkness. Like okay, so once that is done, the next color we're going to be using is this is this yellow. Now on the back of this palette, it says that the yellow is for dark under eye circles. I would use yellow for the purple part of your eye and the pink for the more bluer part because it just cancels out each other. The yellow will more blend in with the blue part to create like a green cast and you don't really want that. So you just want to spread this underneath your eye. Now you want to really make sure you blend out these harsh lines because you don't want any like mixing with the concealer in the wrong places. Now for the other eye. Now if you're more tan or if you have a darker skin tone than me, I would recommend a more like a salmon shade or a peach or almost red shade. I've heard people color correct with um, red lipstick. Maybe we should give that a try. Let me know. Now once you've, we've got the under eyes done, you just want to go back in with the pink. Wherever you want to brighten, like on your nose, maybe on your forehead if you want that. But I'm not going to put it like on my forehead because mm. I have irritated skin. So I'm just going to put... I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the top of my nose, slightly on my forehead. On my chin, just a tiny bit. And my cheekbones. Now for the scariest shade in the palette, we're going to be taking this green. Now this green has an too pigmented so don't worry. This green is great if you have any pimples or irritated and may or irritated skin. Maybe you popped a pimple or whatever. It's really great for counteracting that redness. Now I'm just using my finger to apply the pink in any other places I just want to be brightened. Especially around my mouth because that gets a little bit dark throughout the day. Okay, so I forgot to wet my beauty blender, so once you are as green as you desire, 
Then you just want to take your damp beauty blender or a damp sponge and you just want to dab that all up. You don't want it to be too potent, especially if you've got a um, light to medium coverage foundation. If you have a heavy coverage foundation, you don't really need to color correct, but you can if you want to. Now once that is as blended in as you desire, you just want to take your foundation. You just want to take your foundation. Today I'm using, again, the L'Oreal Lumi foundation. I looked for this um, specific one. This one is in the rose gold, rose gold packaging. And I just couldn't find it. The only one... Woo, that almost went everywhere. The only one I could find was the silver one, so I think they might have repackaged this foundation into those cushion ones because it's they were also rose gold, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried those. They don't sell them in South Africa, so. And this is in shade N1, so if you find these, this is actually really nice. And you just want to apply your foundation all over your colour correcting. Always make sure to blend your foundation onto your jawline. And try and cover all that pink, yellow, green, whatever colours you used. Now that you've got your foundation on, you just want to take your concealer to cover up any remaining showing through, like any blemishes showing through or your under eye circles. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using this shade, the lighter shade, under my eyes. I hope it matches me. Okay. Oh, we're safe. This is actually nice and bright now. I like this shade. I'm just going to cover this blemish. It's actually... It's actually not too bad. You just want to set your face and you'll be good to go. Once you're finished with your concealer, you just want to set your face because this is going to melt off if you don't. Trust me. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in... In Transparent. I don't think this is transparent, but whatever. And you just want to set your whole face in dabbing motions so you don't... So you don't move the cream. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm just going to do the rest of my face off camera and get back to you. I know what you're thinking. What the heck happened to Emma? Well, if you guys want to see a tutorial on this really glam, like super contour, dramatic look with a glossy lip, then just let me know. As you can see, there is really no trace of the green, the yellow, or the pink. And no peak redness or anything except for my, the only redness is my blush. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below in the comments what video you want to see. Next. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up for me. It'll really help me a lot. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I love you guys so much. Bye. <laughs>